taking a teen seatbelt. We're basically looking for students, high school students, who are not properly wearing their seatbelts or, or who are not properly restrained. Uh, and these are part of uh, grants that are given to the departments, uh, both the Albuquerque Police Department and the Bertolino County Sheriff's Departments, and then other uh, small entities, local police agencies, uh, where they offer grants to the department so that we can uh, target uh, the uh, enforcement and, of course, the education of seatbelt usage, uh, specifically in this case for teens. We saw the passenger not wearing her seatbelt. So in this case, the driver's going to be educated on the importance of everyone in his vehicle being seatbelted, and then she's going to be educated because she's probably over the age of 16, so she also will uh, be educated on how important it is for uh, an individual to be wearing her seatbelt. Here's that blue brochure. Hold on to that. It'll explain everything about your traffic citation, about what you need to do and where you need to go. You're being cited for your passenger not wearing the seatbelt. You're going to go to court on March 11th at 1.15. Second violation is called permitting a violation. What basically what that means is you have a responsibility as the driver to make sure that everybody in the vehicle is, is compliant. Okay, it's not breaking the law. So you're getting the seatbelt citation for her not wearing the seatbelt, and then you're also getting the permitting a violation seat, uh, viol the permitting a violation citation, and that's because she's breaking the law, okay, and you know, you have knowledge. When we do tech cons like this, it's not just about receiving the citation, it's about educating the public. In this case, we want to educate the teens that wearing their seatbelt properly and uh, even wearing their seatbelt period is going to save their life. Uh, so not only do I uh, talk to the individual, explain to them about why I pulled them over, but I also give them, uh, educate them and tell them that they can't wear their seatbelt uh, improperly, it's got to be worn the proper way. If they don't, these are the consequences. In other words, if they get in a crash, they're liable to get hurt. You're receiving a few citations, so I'm going to go over each one of them with you, okay? Uh, you're getting three different citations for your passengers not being seat belted. This is for your, the 12-year-old not being belted. And you've got one for your 14-year-old not being belted, and then the 16-year-old. Those are all no seat belt citations. Most teens will think that they are, uh, they are not uh, going to die if they get in a crash. They do not need to be educated. They just went through driver improvement school. Uh, there's not anything that they don't already know. But in fact, once they get their driver's license, they, they tend to forget uh, the, the rules of the road. They, they tend to forget the laws. So we just want to remind them that uh, this is the law. This is what they have to do when they uh, get that responsibility of having a driver's license. Uh, and uh, in, in the long run, does it save their life? Absolutely, it will.